Hi everyone and welcome to another Raspberry Pi tutorial. In this Raspberry Pi tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to install a HomeKit node on your Raspberry Pi. First you want to open terminal and enter the command df-h. That'll show you the amount of free space you have. As you can see I have just over 900 MB. You want to have at least 100 MB. Just FYI, I'm going to be going through all the commands. I'm going to cut them down so the video can stay short. The next command you want to enter is sudo su, as you can see, so you can get super user. Then you want to enter apt-get update, ampersand, ampersand, apt-get upgrade. When you hit enter, I'm going to cut through so the video length can stay short. And just give me a second, and there we are. And next, the command you want to enter is apt-get install git dash core space lib nss dash m dns space lib avahi dash compat dash lib dnssd dash dev Give me a second. Sometimes my keyboard just doesn't respond. And there you go. And once you enter that command, you want to add a dash Y at the end. As you can see. And hit enter. And I'm going to fast forward through. There we are. And the next command we want to use is wget http colon slash slash node dash arm dot heroku app. H E R O K U A P P dot com slash node underscore latest underscore A R M H F dot D E B and you want to hit enter. And as you can see, it's done. Next, you want to enter D P K G space node underscore latest underscore E R M H F dot deb. And once that's done, you want to enter node dash v space between the node and the dash v. And you want to hit enter. It kind of takes some time. And the version should pop up. There we go, 0.12.1. That's the version at this time. I'm recording the video and then you want to enter npm v, also having a space. And there you go, 2.5.1. These were the versions I had when I did. So next you want to enter git, oh I'm sorry, uh, npm install dash g node dash gip. And give it a few seconds. I'm going to fast forward through. This takes a while to install as a matter of fact. So when you want to know the process is going on, give it a few seconds and you see the scrolling wheel, loading, whatever you want to call it, and the processor is at 100%. Just give it a few seconds. And I'm just going to forward through as it takes a while. After the process is complete, you want to enter the command L cl git clone https colon slash slash github.com slash k h a o s t the k and the t should be capital this is the git that we're getting the files from sorry about the typo k h a o s capital t slash h a p dash node js the hap the n and the js should be capital dot git hit enter let it install download as it should and just give it a few seconds it's not such of a big of a file and just a few more seconds until it finishes now you want to do ls that will list the files in your current directory and there we go. And it shows us we have hap-node.js that shows us it's successfully cloned. 
and now we want to do rm space dash rf node underscore latest underscore arm hf dot depth that removes the unnecessary files and if we do ls it shows us it's gone but our directory is still intact now you want to do cd hap dash node js slash and now we're into that directory and if we do ls we can see the files in that directory the command you want to enter next is node bridged core the b in and the c should be capital dot js and hit enter and it's going to run and you see there's an error cannot find module node dash persist and if you cannot see that i'm just going to show you i'm just letting you guys see all the stuff that's there and as you can see that line big line node dash persist and now you want to do npm install space node dash persist. I'm going to have all the code in the description. And you hit enter. Give it a few seconds. This takes a while. It's just like the node dash script we did a few moments ago. I would just wait for the scrolling wheel. Loading wheel. And just let it through. And there it is. And now I'm out here. And I'm going to run the command again. Node bridged core.js. And you can see there's another module missing, mdns. Like before, what we're going to do now is, you can see the mdns is the module, so we're going to do npm space install space mdns. Hit enter. And wait for it to load. Just give it a few more moments. As you can see, 100%. And after that's done, we're going to run the command one more time node bridged core.js as you can see it's still missing a module SRP and now we're gonna run the same stuff npm install SRP hit enter it takes some time for the initial npm to start downloading the module and start the progress but you can see it's a hundred percent CPU utilization Yeah, it's loading and now that after that one's done we're gonna run the command one more time node bridge core.js give it a few seconds we're gonna see some warnings and then they go there we go another module missing so we're gonna run that one too npm install ed25519 and hit enter give it a few seconds I'm just fast forwarding through it takes around five to ten minutes per module Raspberry Pi 2 should be a lot faster. Raspberry Pi 1 does take some time to compile. And now we're done. And the next module is, we're going to run the command again to see what's the next module we're missing. Node bridged core.js, curve 25519. And so like before, we're going to do npm install curve 25519 and hit enter. And give it a few moments to start the installation process until we see the loading wheel, loading progress indicator, whatever you want to call it. There we can see the progress should start, and there it is. And I'm going to fast forward through. After that module's done, let's run the command node bridge core.js, and we can see it should start to initiate. And we have no errors and now it's going through and we can see HAP server is listening. That's a good sign and that means it's the end of the installation. In my next video I'm going to show what to do from here. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.